But we're going to turn to you now. <laughs> First question here. Scientists predicting any specific variant will become the dominant strain nationally in the coming months. We are going to be hearing more and more about these variants in the next weeks and months. And we have a situation here. We've mentioned it before. We are only doing genetic sequencing, which is how you kind of look at the genetic fingerprint, if you will, of a various uh, specimen. On right now, less than 1% of all specimens. We're running just under 2 million tests a day. You see we're in the hundreds of thousands of confirmed tests a day. We are testing the genetic profile on about 5,000 to 6,000 of those specimens. So we don't know really what variants are here. That's mm. why you hear specialists and experts like Dr. Anthony Fauci saying it probably is here, it could be here, it may be here, whatever those qualifiers. But you can't, if you don't look for something, you can't find it. So uh, we are going to be ramping up that genetic sequencing, and we need to do it in a big way pretty quickly. All right. As more and more people are getting vaccinated, this next question, pretty appropriate. After you get your two doses of the vaccine, can you spread COVID-19? It is unknown, Amy. And here's wow. the thing with the two authorized vaccines that we have right now, Moderna and Pfizer. Remember what the clinical trial data showed. It showed a 94 or 95 percent reduction in risk of getting COVID-19 and in particular in getting severely ill. It did not say that you couldn't transmit the virus. They are going to be following that. They're going to be looking at that. But that is unknown at this point. So that's just one reason why when people say, well, you've gotten the vaccine. Now can you take the mask off? Remember the origin of wearing the mask back in the spring. It was to protect others. So you may, unfortunately, yes, you may be infected with COVID-19 after having gotten vaccinated. And that's why wearing the mask is still going to be recommended for a, a good while to help protect others. All right, one more here. Doc, non-COVID related, is it a good idea to take caffeine before lifting weights? I love the nutrition question. Right. So it lets me put my nutritionist <laughs> hat on. So um, first of all, caffeine is well known, generally accepted to improve athletic performance. That's in the elite athlete as well as just the average everyday person. Uh, it can improve your cardio. It can improve your strength. It may affect your perception of how hard you're working. Um, but we know it's a stimulant. The International Olympic Committee, IOC, and NCAA both set limits on it for that that reason but look the average cup of coffee yes it may be may be good to improve your workout and it is safe too much not good tea coffee yeah exactly <laughs> well you guys are elite athletes well in many ways <laughs> all right Dr. Ash, and thank you for that <laughs> you, you can continue to submit your questions to Dr. J on our Instagram at Dr. J Ash well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.